Hey guys, it has been a while since I made a video. Uh, school has started for me, which means that I am back to teaching. So finding time to do the videos and stuff, it's getting a little tricky. But today I set time aside just so that I can make this video for you. I have other videos I have, I'm planning to make with you guys, but they're probably gonna be later on down the road. So I'm sorry I'm not like consistently giving you videos. They're gonna be sporadic. So if you are, if you subscribe to my page, thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. If you have any comments of things you want me to do, come on, put them into the comments and I will see what I can do. Uh, probably a little bit further down, I'm going to um, I'm planning, don't know if I'll do it, but I'm planning to uh, show you how to make a triple catch dinner, similar to what you might get out in a restaurant or at a supermarket, and uh, ham and bean soup. Now, I, I went through to see if I have made that for you. I don't think I have shown you that, but it's easy to make, I will tell you. On uh, the triple catch platter, uh, I'm going to try to teach you inexpensive ways to make that, okay? But for today, it's going to be a short one, I hope. Cross my fingers. And have you, has anybody ever had sour cream and onion dip? You get them from the supermarket and stuff. Well, you can actually make your own. Now, before I actually begin, I have chives. I have fresh chives that I grow. It is getting cold. It's starting to become autumn now. Slash, uh, slash fall but you can grow your own chives even inside if you keep them watered and in warm climate with sun so say you do uh, you can do that if you only grow them outside though they only last one year unless and this is something that I do I put them into a pot then I set them outside and of course the natural rain and sunlight and the warm weather warmth has them grow and stuff and they're fresh usually i don't use chives until later on when it's colder and i'm starting to cook more inside figure that out but even if you uh, put them in a pot and you only put them outside come fall you bring them inside like i always say to the porch let them stay covered and then what they do is that they then start i think this is a little bit I don't know if you can tell. They start wilting down a little bit. Okay. They're starting to go into hibernation. Chives is an onion. And so even if it does that, you did not lose the chive plant. I have found that come springtime, a lot of times, I start seeing green the green pop up on it. And so at that time when, excuse me a second, when the weather starts getting better, um, they start coming out, okay? Now, you can also dry them as well, like you cut them, and then you just like maybe put them in a warm oven and let them dry out, and then you have chives. If you don't wanna do all of that, buy them already uh, taken care of in the store, and that's okay too. Okay, I'm just using fresh chives because that is what I have. And I am going to get myself a pair of scissors. Um, you, I would suggest getting scissors are just for cooking and stuff. But if you don't have them, what I'm going to do is I am going to wash them and like kind of sterilize them. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm now drying off my scissors. I've washed them and sterilized them. I'm mostly washing them is in soap and water and then sterilizing them, uh, you just kind of put a little alcohol on it. If you think soap and water is fine, that's okay too. This is your food. <laughs> okay. And then what I do is I just take the chives. I don't know, I'll try to bring it down a little bit so you can see it. And then I'm just going to cut them up. You can cut them as wide or as small as you want to. I like different sizes and all that stuff just because it's like kind of neat. Okay. So, as I said, if 
you do not have fresh chives and you're not growing them and you have dried ones, just wait a bit because you're going to do that same step as I did. Okay? Now, over here, right here, you probably won't be able to see it too well, but I have dried rosemary. It was fresh. It was given to me for free by somebody who is an organic farmer. And I just left it out and it's uh, it dried up. It's still good. Okay? So what I'm going to do with that, probably after I'm done with this, is I just take the all this, this is rosemary, and you just put it into like a little container. And then you just store it. Similar to like the chives. Okay? Now, what I think I forgot to tell you, because I have a lot that goes on in my mind, is I am actually making homemade sour cream and I sour cream and chives, excuse me, dip. Okay? Now you're like, wait, you can buy this in the grocery store. Like I said, yes, you can buy it already made. But sometimes making making it yourself is kind of nice. So what you do is you buy a container of sour cream. Now, this is a little bit bigger container. I usually get a smaller container as well. Now I don't. I'm not going to put all the chives in here because some of this has been used. This is like my little leftover stuff. I have about half a container. If you're like on a budget, I'm getting a spoon. Sorry, everybody. If you're on a budget and you don't want to be using up all the sour cream to make this, you can make your. I'm gonna take this out. It's just a chive that I'm not using. Okay, you can take. You can make it into a container and somewhere else, or you can just, it, depending on how you do stuff and how your house is, I'm just going to put some sour cream in here for a little later because I may be making some quesadillas. And this has been a used container. So if you may have some sour cream that's left over, and you have a little bit in here, instead of like having to mix it into another container, you can just use this container up. Okay? So, I've taken my chives. It is your choice on how much, how much or how little chives, excuse me, that you want to put in there. I'm going to put all this in there. I don't usually measure unless I'm doing something for the first time or something that needs measurement. But if you're like creating stuff, as I said in my other videos, if you've seen them, everything is an art. It uses mathematics. It uses English. Cooking uses all of your skills to make it because if you have to make something uh, more or less. In another video I might be doing later on, depending on um, my time schedule, I'm actually going to make a French toast casserole and I have to use my mathematic skills to make something. And because, I'll kind of give you a little hint. I'm just going to put all the chives in here that I've cut up. If you don't want to use all the chives and you want to save them out for like something else, just leave them on the plate and they should dry up without wilting. If not, stick them in a warm oven. I think maybe just put them in a warm oven and then just let them dry out naturally. Okay, so getting back, I'm going, this recipe calls for half and half. Well, I know what half and half is. It's half cream, half milk, okay? And I already have some whipping cream from another um, time I used it. I'm like, I need milk for other things, so I'm going to be making my own half and half for this recipe. Now, this is where converting fractions comes in for third grade, for those of you guys. If you're watching this a little bit younger, I'm going to be measuring it, but then I have to convert everything and figure out how much will I really need. 
Okay. So if you have young ones, this is the um, French toast casserole is a really good thing for them to watch. And everything else, okay? So I put my chives in and I'm just mixing it up, okay? Now I have to remember to um, put this a sour cream and chive and not think it's mold, okay? And I will scoop some out to kind of show you how it is. Okay, I don't know if you're able to see this. It's tough for me to see because I'm of my angle, but I hope you can see the green. Bring this up a little bit. Hope you can see the green in it. This is sour cream and chive, and this can be used as a dip. You can use it as for baked potatoes. If you like sour cream and chive baked potatoes, you just put scoop it up, stick it on your baked potatoes. If you like it and your mashed potatoes, that's what it is. And it is all set up. If you have a household who loves this, okay, you can do that. Now I also, I took out some sour cream for later. If I just, when I make my quesadillas, cause I might not want the sour cream and onion stuff. Or I could have done this in reverse. I could have taken some sour cream out, put it in a container and then mix the chives in with this and leave this alone. It is your choice. It is, okay? Sorry it took so long. Um, it shouldn't take this long to do it, but I wanted to tell you about other things going on. Okay? So guys, just take care of yourself. Enjoy. And if, when I come on make another video, you'll see it pop up. So take care, everybody. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. Help each other out if need be. And, you know, take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye.